Um, the other one I wanted to ask you about from guarding sort of old heads, you know, the LeBrons of the world, um, guarding guys like Jimmy, who maybe is a little younger than Bron, to guarding, you know, Book and and uh, Tatum and those guys that are they're even younger. What is Anthony Edwards' ceiling? Because to me, I f- I called his game Friday night. I feel like partially because I think he can he is already a good defender. I think he can be a great defender, a, a phenomenal two way player along the lines of Kevin Durant or Giannis. Or you know, I think Tatum's a, an elite two way player. Yeah. Um, I think he's you know potentially a guy we talk about as being a top five player. And to be a top five player, you essentially have to be good enough to be the guy on a championship team. I think he's potentially that good. I literally said top five player in my head. So that's what I see him as. And it's funny you mentioned that. And I'm bringing up my welcome to the NBA moment. And <laughs> sadly, it's from a guy younger than me, which is crazy. But uh, we're playing Minnesota there. This is probably game two of my rookie year. And Anthony Edwards, this is third quarter. They're on a little bit of a run. And Anthony Edwards is coming full speed down the right side of the court. And I'm telling my teammate to cut him. So you mean when you cut him off in transition, it makes him change direction so like I can go time it up for a block. When he tried to cut him, he hit him with an in and out, and he fell for it. And so when he fell for the in and out, he got a loading step. Like, And I'm just down there waiting for Anthony Edwards. And I was like, all right, I'm going to time this up. I'm, a, I'm actually going to try to go get this. The power that he went back on the tomahawk was so strong. I said, I'm not getting that. So I bailed out in the air in the middle of the business middle. decision. Yeah, yeah, I bailed out because if I foul him and he still dunks it and they're on a run like this, it's just not a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. And so I was just like, let me just get out the way. And that was probably one of my welcome to the One of my favorite things about this podcast is that it is an audio podcast, obviously, but we also are a video podcast on you don't, YouTube. So you don't have to do that. There will be a nice video overlay <laughs> as you We're going to get, get a clip up. That's going to be their thing from this thing that everybody will see. And you know what's crazy? Like, you can't embarrass me. I feel like I'm one of those guys where it's like, it happened. At the end yeah. of the day, you got to own up to it. Like we talked yeah. about before. Yeah. I appreciate guys that are willing to challenge players at the rim. And a lot of times it is uh, fives. It is, you know, a guy like Embiid or Jared Allen, you know, challenges everybody. Giannis got dunked on again last night by Jimmy Butler. Yeah. He kind of blocked the shot into the rim, to be honest Jimmy's with you. Jimmy's mad strong. Yeah. He's <laughs> mad You're strong. You're not getting this ball from me. No. But I just, I, it's weird because a lot of the, the guy, the guys that try to block shots at the rim are the guys that are nev- inevitably going to get dunked on the most. No, for sure. Like, I got dunked on in Portland by Eubanks. And literally three plays down, I dunked on him after that. It's just basketball. It happens. 